Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming after the Tuesday, coming at you the Tuesday, after the Monday, where S&P's lost their mind. Drop 70, up 50, down 40, up 30, closed at 50. Um, now down at uh, 27, this is delayed, but 27, 21's been the low. What we know from experience is these kinds of days are um, often precursors to change in trend. So we got to be on high alert. Um, we got to wait. We got to be patient. Um, we were set up for shorts yesterday. Had a pretty good position in the right average, uh, but then we got squeezed there at the close. So we uh, went back to square. But this kind of price action. <clears throat> you can see it better, obviously, on the hourlies. Bang, 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 bang. Like, lots of banging going on there. It's like an orgy of banging. 37.90. <clears throat> Super important now. That's the low of uh, orgy day. We'll call it yesterday orgy day. Good vol. We just were a little bit behind the eight ball. We didn't really own that volatility uh, the way we the way we like so anyway we move on 3790 is now super important let's take a look at euro um, she looks like she wants lower not sure why one more squeeze maybe one more squeeze through uh, 120 50 and then we start collecting longs at 120 I don't know could it be dollar Swiss now Everyone and their sister and their cousin who they just married uh, is talking about this level, 89.25. Put it in the book. Don't forget about that level. It's still three quarters of a percent away, but keep your keep your eye on that prize. Dollar yen, no fucking idea. I mean, come on. It's like a dog chasing its tail. Dollar yen. Euro yen, uh, it's not really Euro yen moment, but it might be Aussie yen, Kiwi yen, CAD yen time. Um, Euro yen and sterling yen are doing their own little uh, dance. Dollar czar, we talked about longs yesterday, and now this thing is starting to ramp. Some fresh air above 60. Um, I guess that's 65 up there. If you're not long yet, I wouldn't chase it here. Uh, maybe you'll get some vol and be able to get this cheaper around twenty dollar max. Same chart. A um, couple of tops up there at twenty-five today. The high's been twenty-one. Don't fuck with dollar max in Europe. Aussie tiptoeing through the tulip. 76.55. Last week we talked about seventy-six triple six. Satan's old friend. Uh, that level didn't work, but you can see how it, it was important. Here it was here. We just kind of trickled, tripled through that. Maybe it's just going to be uh, 76.50, although this low is 42. But you can see what's happening here. Um, Aussie looks like she's turning. Um... So watch 76.50, core short Aussies the way. We have some short Aussie uh, long-term stuff in the books, so we have a little bit of bias there, but she looks like she wants lower. 79 been the low today. Um, not sure you want to dive in and smash a bit here. Maybe try and sell a rally today in Oz. Aussie yen. We're going to ring the bell through 79.50. Why not? It's not the best level, but fuck it. This is like standard playbook shit. Aussie yen, Kiwi yen. Um, by the way, the dudes, all of the uh, sort of institutional followers of, uh, of Brett Donnelly cut the Kiwi yen yesterday. We were talking about waiting for those stops to get done. These guys squared up yesterday. They got scared just like everybody else. Um, 
I don't know what that means. I'm just sharing. I don't know where the Kiwi Yen level is. Um, hmm, could be 70, 74, 36. Who knows? This is the same level in Kiwi as the Aussie, 71, 67. That's closer. Is dollar China going to go up through 650 again? It's an interesting level again. Didn't work last week. Didn't cost anybody anything because it kind of went 80 ticks but then turned. But here we are, 649.92 again up there. Maybe dollar China. It's going to be the canary today. Keep an eye on that. Gold, uh, not doing much. Just confusing a lot of people. It's like a proctology exam, gold. These guys. Ooh, glad we didn't have offers in yesterday. We're going to wait. Uh, maybe 171, uh, the figure. These guys popped. They got scared. Everyone got scared yesterday, except for S&Ps. Uh, bonds popped up. But this is a sell. 137.20, 171.05. Uh, those are good, good levels. Bitcoin here. She also looks like she wants lower. I don't know. We're just waiting. Russian guy called me yesterday. Wanted to know if I were if I was capable of managing a crypto portfolio for one of his uh, Russian pals. Uh, as a rule, I stay away from Russian money. Um, I can tell you why someday over at, at the bar. Uh, that's probably not for uh, not for the social media set. But um, the point is, is every uh, Johnny Muppet go lately uh, is now fully into crypto, and um, just a sign to be careful, right? If um, you know. Some Russian dude who's normally an operations specialist for a family office has a friend who's running a crypto book for some rich dude from Lithuania or Georgia. Um, that's full participation. So when it's full participation, usually there's pain. So careful left-hand side. Finally crude. What a dick fuck that was. All the way up to 52 90. Baby, don't hurt me no more. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Annoying as all fuck that was. Man. We had a nice short position yesterday, but that close kind of spooked us. You can see what happened. Most of the pros, who probably think a little bit like me, ended up having to square a lot of good risk-off positions <clears throat> just because of the price action didn't do what it was supposed to do. Now we're, we're back mildly risk-off. Don't want to chase this. It's still early. We're not trying to call the absolute top. But these are the days you get super frustrated, right? You're like, oh, Christ. I was short crude at this price. I was short S&Ps at this price. Blah, blah, blah. Cry me a fucking river. Put on your big boy pants uh, and get ready for this. Last year, it really didn't happen until mid-February. And the last week of January was a total fucking same thing parade of all let's go back to last year just real quick hate to be pedantic here's last year right bang who was banging the drum on february 20th with his hundred handle days but look at this price action between the 24th or 27th of january to the third a real slippery fuck you down move but then one last gasp higher 
That was last year, people. It's not going to happen exactly the same this year, but this is the kind of shit that typically happens, right? You get the crazy volatility. You look like it looks like you're on top of this. You're fabulously short on January 28th. You're selling rallies. You have got your options on. Banging the drum. And then the thing goes from 3210 to 3390, 170 points. So going to look at this today you're like okay we banged the drum 3780 does this go to 3950 maybe all I'm saying is maybe and this is why professionals are like we don't have to pick the absolute high just wait this day this was a Monday 100 handles at the open from 3315 you all remember it right this was your day, right? You have, the, you have the two reds. You have the bad news. And even if you sold after that day, you missed the 100 handles. You sold 3229s. The shit went to 2222. You got plenty of time, man. Don't, don't go insane. Like yesterday was an insane day, right? Anyway babbling a bit good luck out there people uh watch this dollar swiss level you should buy some fucking dollars are but cheaper um i don't know currencies don't look super great uh i'm gonna ring the bells with some aussie yen today and some kiwi yen sort of low vol baby risk off shit and uh see what happens talk to you guys tomorrow ciao